Cancer. Welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of February. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Cancer, this has to be an actual connection that you feel you have with someone. You may or may not be together. You could be separated. You could uh, be dating, uh, getting to know one another, um, have a mutual um, liking of each other whatever your situa situation is they have to know who you are vice versa and you think there's some sort of a connection there and also if you are single even though you may have a connection with somebody i also offer a singles reading every month so you may watch that and that may also resonate with you also so let's see what's going on with cancer welcome everybody welcome happy new year i hope everybody's doing well so the first thing we're going to do here cancer is get um a zodiac sign we may get a, a planet sign or element and we'll see how that plays into your reading then i'll get uh opening message with that deck um on your connection and then i will pull uh, one for you one for them on the energy towards each other then we'll clarify those with tarot and at the end we'll have some closing messages with that deck over there so we're going to look at how you're feeling about each other uh in the connection oh we got leo here and um, the actual situation, advice, possible outcome. So let's see here, we have Leo, and let's get one more for Cancer. And now you may, um, actually, we're just gonna get one. <laughs> Sorry, I think in the singles reading, I just did that series and I usually pull two, so we're just gonna pull one. So we have Leo, so you may or may not be dealing with a Leo, that's totally fine, or they could have Leo somewhere in their chart. And this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or Jupiter, I mean, however you have, if you have cancer heavily in your chart, but your sun sign isn't cancer, then this can resonate for you also. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. So keep in mind, it may or may not be your energy. So don't try to make it fit um, if you're feeling it's not resonating. Hold out for the next reading or check the singles reading I also offer. All right, so let's see, cancer. Let's get an opening energy on you and your person's connection at this time. What is the energy like for cancer? For a cancer and their person of interest, whoever they're thinking of at this time, spirit, please. Can we have an opening energy for cancer and their person at this time? And I'm feeling this one right here. And we have vibration, which is 14, which is five and five is about change. So, you know, vibration is like being, you know, you could be in a high vibration, which is being very positive um, kind of energy, or you can be in a low vibration, which is kind of negative and sad, you know, so something what you could be at the same vibration right now. So whatever that means, vibration can be in the same frequency, in the same vibration of love, being positive and happy. You could be on different vibrations. I don't know. It could be one or five, five. There needs to be a change and the mutual vibration between the two of you. So we'll see. So now, um, Cancer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one for you. I'll put you on this side and I'll put your person on this side, but if at any time you feel like, well, no, that's me and that's them, then please switch, flip flop the energies all throughout this reading as you see fit. Um, all right. And all the decks are listed below if you're wondering what decks I'm using. Uh, social media down there. Tons of stuff in the description box, so please feel free to check that out. Uh, social media, if you like the tip or send a gift, how to reach out for a reading. All your playlists are below also, so please check that out if you like to. Okay, so on this side here we have release, which five again. So something with change and release here in the vibe, something with the vibration. So I'm getting a lot of this like bluish purplish color. And then here we have on this side, seek seclusion, 24, which is six. And six is about going to a better place. It's about healing and balance. Somebody going off on their own to find their balance and healing energy here with seek uh, seclusion. And someone over here is releasing something, it, whether it's this person or releasing things uh, that are no longer serving them from their past. It could be their own uh, things within themselves are releasing that uh, negative patterns or habits or something like that. So we're going to clarify all this energy with um, tarot. See what we have at the bottom now. 
We have listen to your body, body, which is 27, which is nine. So nines are almost at a completion because then you'd have 10 and then 10 equals one, which would be a new beginning. So somebody here needs to listen to their body and that could be release here. So maybe somebody is trying to release um, addictions, obsessions, negative patterns and habits. And maybe this person over here is seeking seclusion from this person while they clean up negative um, aspects of their life or something like that. You know, maybe this person, whether it's you or your person, whatever side you resonate with, you know, by releasing things no longer serving, uh, whether it's people, places, or things, or habits, or obsessions, addictions, you know, releasing that low vibrational energy will help you to align to a more high vibrational energy. So, you know, this person over here may be, you know, going off on their own and uh, letting the other person do their thing to uh, heal, to change something so that they can heal and raise their vibrations. So let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer, and this love connection. So thank you, everybody, for your support, whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for a reading, you're a new subscriber, however you supported me in the channel, I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you so much. So let's see what's going on here. Ooh, okay. So we have the Hierophant on this side and the Knight of Cups on this side. So I feel like this side is committed to um, bettering themselves. So this, so this is uh, each how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. So I feel like this side could be wanting commitment, but they know they need to release some things that are no longer serving them and being committed to doing that also. And this person over here is in the Knight of, Knight of Cups energy. So they definitely want to move forward. Um, that's moving forward with love, affection, and that kind of energy. So they definitely want to take that movement forward in love. But they're kind of moving away. So I think they know the best thing to do uh, before this love can move forward is this side over here really needs to, I feel like, clean up their act before this can go into a silent, solid commitment. Knight of Swords. Yeah, that's kind of reckless energy. I had one just flip. Kind of reckless, rebellious kind of energy. And now we get the three wands. Yeah, waiting. <laughs> this person is waiting to move forward in love. So they're going off on their own and just waiting while this person may have some reckless like energies, reckless ways about them, um, or just bad habits, obsessions, like I said. So before this can move forward in commitment, someone on this side, whoever it is, if it's you or your person, needs to clean up their act, get their stuff together, release things no longer serving them. But we have listened to your body. So, I mean, that could be just listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. So let's see what the actual situation is. So we got the Ace of Wands. So passionate, fiery new beginning here. The Three of Pentacles is working together. Teamwork, collaboration. And the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So this person, <laughs> this side definitely wants the Ten of Pentacles. They may want to get married. As you have uh, Hierophant, which does talk about commitment, marriage, long term. Working together in a fiery, passionate new beginning here. So the fiery, passionate new beginning is on this side. This person very fiery, passionate. That's that uh, fire energy of like Leo. So definitely here, this side wants that fire, that passion, that new beginning. And the energy here, the mutual energy here is working together, teamwork collaboration, working it out. But again, with the toxic energy on this side, exactly, and that's what I felt. Toxic negative energy, whether it's you know negative mindset, negative uh, thoughts, fear, addictions, obsessions, and that kind of energy. Things of the past that are no longer serving. Having to cut that, yeah, nine of cups on this side. So this personally, person definitely wants wish fulfillment, um, happiness and joy, but the nines are a solo energy. So I feel like this person may have went on a break from you. Are you them? going solo for a while, but they definitely are waiting because you see waiting here. This person's kind of waiting. Three of Wands waiting. 
to move forward in love to the Ten of Pentacles. So, and I, I don't know which side you are. Um, I did say this is you, this is your person, but again, take the energies, how they resonate for you, if it resonates for you, and swip, switch and, you know, the energies anyway, any time you see fit. Wow, if I can talk today. So, let's get your advice, Cancer. If you don't feel like it's your advice, it could be your person's advice. Let's just get some advice for this connection. Advice for this connection. The moon. Yeah, secrets, illusions, not seen clearly. <sighs> what else? Seven of Wands, being defensive and on guard. Someone is putting up boundaries with the Seven of Wands because someone has secrets or um, illusions or not seeing things clearly or things have not been totally enlightened to the other one yet. So the other one's kind of pushing back a little, putting up a guard, saying, you know, until you get your shit together, you know, and can come forward and come forward to me and with truth, clarity, and clear the shit out of your life that is no longer serving you. I'm kind of over here. Yes, I'm waiting for you because I love you and I want the Ten of Pentacles with you and I want my wish fulfillment and I want to move forward in love. But... You need to clear away this energy first. So the clarify, yeah, four cups. So feeling blah, melancholy, just waiting and just feeling bored. And then two of pentacles juggling things around here. So yeah, not sure here what's going to happen. Juggling a lot of energies over here. So one person I feel like is juggling a lot, trying to clear away things. And the other person's kind of it's just waiting over here four cups waiting but yet got the wall up until things come to light here with the moon energy and until the path is truly clear and you can see clearly what's moving ahead someone here is blocking the other one off a little bit uh letting letting them do their thing get their shit together before this can move forward but i definitely see here commitment and long-term commitment one person wanting that and wanting this to move forward in love. You see the man on the horse, the man on the horse on this side. This side definitely wants this love to move forward. This side, got to clear away stuff, not serving them. So the advice is uh, here to stand your ground for this relationship. You or them, someone needs to stand their ground until things become enlightened. Uh, until, you know, there's no more juggling and things balanced out. Uh, balanced out. Um, the other one is just going to wait. So let's see what the possible outcome is here. The Empress. So somebody will regain their power back in their life. They will know their value, their worth. Um, the Empress, Emperor, Empress energy doesn't matter whoever's watching this. Uh, they will be uh, in their power. So somebody will regain their power with the Empress energy. Could be this person here finally clearing away everything that they need to and now being very strong and grounded and uh have their power back the empress energy so let's get a couple more here eight of swords so mental blockage for the outcome and why is that here we got justice yeah so justice coming in truth clarity will be had the scales will balance because you see imbalance there with the two of pentacles but then the justice here with balance it could be someone needs a divorce first or something like that if not then that's just truth and clarity getting the justice uh in this connection uh things balancing out someone regaining their power back and ridding themselves of things no longer serving them while the other one is still kind of mentally blocked until this happens because they can't really see clearly with that moon energy what exactly is going on but justice will prevail here because it is a major as with the empress so Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. We have three of cups. So coming back together, rejoicing, celebrating, reuniting, having a good time. Five of swords in the four of wands. So yeah, getting what you want. Eventually in the end here, um, the five of swords energy in the four of wands, which is the commitment, marriage, ceremonies. Finally overcoming that five of swords energy, like doing what I need to no matter what, so we can come back together and we can have this commitment and have this brand new beginning and divinely guided in love love and emotions overflowing now we got the queen of pentacles so again is like the empress and the minor so if someone regaining their power their stability 
their structure, their foundation, their self-worth. Then having total happiness and joy, success, victory, everything positive with the sun. And that good news coming in, I've released with the Queen of Swords, things of the past that were no longer serving me. Good, that good news coming in to total enlightenment, success, victory, everything positive with the sun. Value, worth, getting their power back, stability. Brain to be getting in love, overflowing. Commitment is here, could be marriage. Getting what you want no matter what. And rejoicing, reuniting, and coming back together, I see there. Wow. All right, so let's get some closing messages here for you, Cancer, with this love connection. This love connection for Cancer for February. Can you believe February already? Wow. February. I do ask Cancer if you knew and you like my energy and how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. You can check out my channel uh, first if you like to. And then if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Right now I offer a lot of different readings, but I may be changing. Uh, some of the readings, I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, so Cancer. Don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post uh, all new readings if you do thank you. So let's get some closing messages now for you, Cancer, and this connection. So we have Our Lady of Ripening on the Vine and Our Lady of Divine Presence, which we have 4 and 14. So it's like 414. Wow. So you may want to look up angel number 414, but fours are all about stability of the basis and the foundation. So I feel like this just has a lot of ripening to do, this connection. It's still in the um, ripening process, but it will ripen here, as I can see, because somebody will release things no longer serving them in Our Lady of Divine Presence. So I feel like this is divine energy, like shining down on this connection. I do feel like it could be a soulmate connection here because um, we do have the Empress here. So it's divine feminine energy. Um, and we do have the, uh, we did have the four of wands under here, which can be soulmate twin flame energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have Our Lady of the Rose Child, number 23, which is five. Fives are about change again. So I'm not sure what the Rose, Our Lady of the Rose Child, I'm just going to read a little snippet um, of that. Um, in darkness and light, you are growing. In death and new life, you are growing. The thorn and the bloom, both of the rose. In the midst of your suffering, you are in the birthing pains of new life. So, okay. So somebody here is really suffering while their person is going through some stuff and clearing away things no longer serving them. But I feel like, because we have ripening on the vine and then we have rose. So this is going to bloom into a, a very, you know, powerful, vibrant, beautiful rose. Just, it's right now, it's just in the growing process, the ripening process. And it's very divine here with divine uh, presence divine energy overseeing this really needing to listen to gut your gut your intuition vib on vibration inner knowing and vibrations will rise things will change and i feel going into a better direction here cancer well good luck to you cancer and i'm sending you many light love and blessings as and i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light Hi Cancer, I realized I forgot to mention the other signs that I see here. So besides Leo, we do have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Capricorn. Let's see, we have um, Taurus. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have, um, we have the Empress here, which is Libra and Taurus. We have Cancer, Pisces. Let's see, Libra. And then on the bottom of the deck over here, we have, uh, let's see, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo again, which clarifies Leo there. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So those are the other signs that I see. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, before I ended the reading, so I just wanted to come back and uh, mention those other signs I see. I know people like to know this other signs. 
I, tr I try to say, you know, not to get too caught up with the signs. It's all just energy, but those are the signs I see. So I hope to see you next time.